This is the inspection for the property in Candela. Monday. All right, so um, just starting off kind of around the exterior, I'm gonna make a note that um, there's just several brick repairs that need to get taken care of on the outside. You got little voids, things like that. At the front, there's gaps between the trim and things like that. So, I saw that walking up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So stuff like that, I'm gonna make a note about that you need to kind of seal up and repair. Um, on the roof, they still have, so they kind of halfway did the flashing details on it. Um, what I'm talking about, some of the plumbing vents where they go through, some of them are done properly, some of them they just put the boot on there and they never sealed it up. So okay. you need to go up there and do that properly. Okay. And then two, you're missing one of the vent caps for the exhaust fans on this side. So it's literally just that corrugated pipe sticking out of the roof. So you okay. need to put the proper cap on okay. that. Gotcha. Um, and then another thing too is with the flashing details of these valleys up here at the front or the back. So it'd be this one and this one. Um, you're going to see their pictures in the report and also the video on the roof. Um, it's holding water because of the way they're installed. They kind of go down and then right before they exit, they go upwards. So, and as a result, they're going to be holding water there. Can so, you see that if we step out? No, because it's you got to be on the roof to see mm -hmm. it. So it'll be in the photos in the report. Yep. Okay. So, okay. Um, and it's both sides. So that's definitely something I'll make a note about um, to get that looked into because I'm sure during a really heavy rain, you'll get a lot of water accumulating up there. So right. um, I'll make a note about that. And then sprinkler system looks good. Everything in the garage looks good. Your opener, all that electrical panel. In here, I'm sure you see the outlets still need to get taken care of. Um, they're not completely finished and installed. Here's um, one for an example. And I'm sure they still have a lot of little honeydews that they're gonna do Inside, before, yeah. our, before our orientation walk. So mm -hmm. that's understandable. Like the appliances. Yeah. One thing I did notice though is, so for the outlet for the dishwasher, um, when the outlet is off, there's still power flowing to the ground. So that can be an issue if you wanna work on the appliance. Um, so that's something I will make a note about that. The, okay. When the switch is on, normally it works just fine. But when you have it in the off, off position, there's still power going to that outlet. Okay, so, yeah, that's not good. Um, but just on the ground side, so I just told me something wasn't wired right on the outlet. Okay. So, okay. Um, that's something I'll make a note about. And then it's with this fan, the one on the one closest to us, the wind speed isn't that crazy. That way you can see the one on the far is kind of just spinning slowly. But the one closest to us has been spinning constantly, and then when you actually turn on the fan, you'll see it stop, and then it'll turn back around. So I'm wondering if there's still a little bit of current flowing through it when it's off, and that's why it's still Okay, so you will make a mention that the ceiling fan, something's going mm -hmm. on with it. Yeah, and the wind speed outside isn't crazy enough where they're both spinning crazy, so it's just this one, you'll see it stop. Right, on. so I can see where the concern will be that maybe mm -hmm. there's... I got it. So, so that's good to know. Um, and then as far as in here, um, I want to make it, just make that way I know with the tub. Going into the master. Just kind of want to show you how that here in the master. You can see right here. Oh, there's like a damage. Mm-hmm. Another thing too that I noticed here. Um, oh yeah, that's definitely something that needs to be brought up because I don't know if they can fix it to where it blends nice. So no, I think they will probably have to replace the tub. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh yeah, that's something that definitely needs to be, yeah, yeah. that's a good catch for us. So, and, then, and usually we're doing the fine details when we do the walks, but I'm glad you brought that up because with the pandemic, it might be difficult to get a tub or they might need to snatch it out of another home and drop mm -hmm. it in here. So definitely good to bring it up because this is supposed to be a quick closing. So gotcha. we want to mm -hmm. make sure on that. Another thing too is uh, right here when I was doing the thermal scan, I didn't know that there was some moisture right here, but this is kind of where a lot of those plumbing vents go through the roof. So, and it's kind of to the area where the exhaust fan didn't have that proper cap. So I'm wondering if um, because they're not done properly, you may be getting some moisture coming in from wind, from rain. So that's probably okay. why we're detecting that moisture. So I did yeah. document it, it'll be in the report, but I don't think it's more roof related. That's why I'm glad that you do what you do, because mm -hmm. the naked eye would never see that. Yeah. <laughs> so foundation looks good. Um, AC, HVAC, um, AC, I will make a note just to get probably just service. I know the filters were dirty and things like that. They weren't cooling as well as they should have been, but I'm thinking it's just more because like the filters are dirty and it just needs to be just cleaning. Okay. So, um, One thing about new construction though, they, they will make sure the AC is right. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll make a note about that. Furnaces are just fine. 
Um, water heaters, there's two of them, but one of them I did notice there's a smell of gas at right where the shutoff valve is at. So, and it's the one on the right, so I'll make sure I specify which one it is. So okay. That way they can double check that as well. But as far as everything else, a long list of little cosmetic stuff like loose doorknobs at the front, um, little things like that. So. A long list of little details too. You'll see in the report of some fans that are pretty out normal for a new home like this. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, nothing, nothing really out of the ordinary. I saw. So. Any, anything else you could think of? I'm trying to think of no. Those are pretty much the roof were the biggest details. The gas to get the water heater, um, the little electrical stuff, um, and then the moisture issues. But that's related to the roof. Those are probably your biggest things. So everything else, just like you said, small little stuff that they can knock out. That's all. Okay, and when you were talking about like th this, I noticed this when I walked up. It's loose. Well, no, it wasn't oh. really loose. Um, I don't know if this is correct, but like oh, the, under right the under, door? Yeah. yeah, right under there. So under here, but the one that I was talking about is actually over here. Um, <laughs> over here, it's actually between the soffit and the brick where it meets. So um, you'll see a picture of it in the report, but it's okay. pretty much against this wall going up. Okay. Yeah. So is the bottom supposed to be like that? No, like, it needs to be sealed. So that too is already in the report too. Okay, so, so those are going to be sealed. Like, mm -hmm. I noticed that when I walked up. Yeah, you can see right underneath yeah. the wood. So. Of course, when you you know, you know come to these homes, you're just walking through them real quick. Do I want it? Do I not want it? And then when it's new construction, pretty much the theory is that, hey, the builder's going to take care of everything mm -hmm. as long as you uh, make sure to advise them of it. Mm -hmm. So, Okay, so is that about it? Or? That's pretty much it. I and mean, obviously your clients are still missing them. I'm sure right. they're still pending. Right, so. right. So... Uh, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and mention this tub thing that Tra Tracy's up front, so I'm about to bring okay. it up to her ASAP. So is that it? That's it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Always a good inspiration.